Today we had a very nice surprise. Your wife brought your relatively new daughter. You talking work. about King Sizemore the Chub Lord? What? My daughter? Is that your nickname for her? Uh Uh-huh. You always have these strange nicknames that are, you know, it's not like, oh, hi, Winky Deer, or her little Pooh Bear. Your nicknames go on for like 15 minutes. Yeah. Can I hear some of them? Well, there's Bill Squishman, founder of Squishman Enterprises, co-founder of Siegel Squishman Dynamics, quality through cuteness. Nice. (laughs) The Golden State Pooper. Okay. By the time you get done saying the first one, she's like out the gate and down <laughs> yeah, the road. Where'd she go? <laughs> <laughs> she took off a half an hour ago when I started her nickname. All right, let's hear another one. The pee queen of Pasadena. Mm-hmm. King Sizemore, the chub lord. Wow. Mrs. King size what? King Sizemore, the chub lord. Okay, very good. Mrs. Squeaks, cheeks for weeks. Captain Howdy, lips so pouty. Glenemy, Glen the friend. Um, I have a list. Let me see. You weren't reading from a list right there? <laughs> no. <laughs> Those are just off the top of my head. Yeah, let's call these up. Edit the, sure, you can pull this yeah. up. Uh, Master Blaster. That's when she's breastfeeding. <laughs> when she's breastfeeding? And is this from the Beyond Thunderdome Master yes, Blaster? Yes. Is the idea that she's the little uh, creature uh-huh. that is controlling your wife? Yeah. Okay. He, by the way, lived in an apartment in my hometown. What, the actor who played him? Yeah. Who, who played, played Master, Master Blaster. Who played Master of Master Blaster. Because it was a little person on top of a big... Yeah, person. so I remember, yeah. oh, I remember Master Blaster quite well. Yeah. He lived in your building? No, he lived in an apartment building in Whittier where I grew up. Okay. Uh, uh, by the way, useful digression. <laughs> <laughs> one, of your be- one of your better... <laughs> Kaiju. And Pazuzu's Petals, um, Mayday. Mm-hmm. Dimpleton Drool Beard, uh, and I think that's that's about it for now. Okay. okay. Is there a way I could get her a therapist now? <laughs> because she's going to need a therapy. She is because you're an insufferable it. man. <laughs> no, just, no. I'm sure. Yes, you're around going. Oh, oh. it's it's Glenner Glenda Goo Goo Gagali. Here comes little Miss Molly. She's jolly, Bolly Golly Wally. Write that down. Bolly Bolly Stolly. Write that down. You seem so happy. Uh, you know, we, we walked in today to our podcast studio, and you've got this beautiful girl. And you seem happy. You seem legitimately oh, happy. You know, I've never been happy. It enrages me. Yeah. <laughs> like, how do I... See? I had a kid just to be this happy so I could enrage you. Yes. Well, it worked. Yeah. It worked. Thanks. That's fantastic. No, it's fantastic. And by the way, there'll come a day later on when your children are older, because my children are older. They're in their late 40s. <laughs> they'll come by and they won't be that interested in coming and seeing you at work. I remember when my kids would come and visit me as little, you know, I'd bring my daughter um, to to work when I was at Rockefeller Center doing the late night show. And uh, I remember just her looking at all the cameras and thinking, this is so amazing. And um, now it would just all get an eye roll. Really? All of this, yeah. Yeah. Everything I I, do. That's going to break my heart. When your daughter finds what you do is boring? Yeah. Yeah, that's what that's what happens though. I know. I just I I don't care. I don't if she care finds what, what I do boring, but just that she's not interested to spend time together. I'm already. Oh, that's going to happen very soon, Matt. What? Much earlier for you than most parents. What do you mean? Are you kidding? Good. No, because you're going to. We're be... fast friends. We're buddies. We're chums. No, no, you're not. You're going to say, "Oh, look at these really cool. I got these really great porcelain mugs at the Rose Bowl swap meet. They were built and made in the '50s. And but look at the ridge right here on the handle. And isn't that cool? No. That's a uh, that's a you know that's a Wright you know Russell Wright made these and the they're made of you know right and now. you'll just go on and on about this board game that you found it's really cool and it's got Eisenhower in it and and, and you've got another year with your daughter where no. she's really enjoying her time with you I think the just... minute she can decipher these ridiculous nicknames you're it's you're over well it's, they're you're indecipherable so we got we're good okay yeah it's uh, I just I encourage you. <laughs> I encourage you to start planning now okay. for the time, oh. the dead time. It's tough. It's tough. They, and the thing is, it's healthy. You want them. Oh, uh, yeah. You want them to uh, individuate. Yeah. That's the word my wife right. keeps saying. I'm it's important that our children individuate. Yeah. I won't force any of this stuff on her. I promise. You know how I got my children to individuate from me? How? I'm awful. <laughs> <laughs> It's a little method I came up with called being awful. I'm taking notes. I'm, ta- I'm learning They're a lot. very happy to leave the nest when Papa is an awful, awful man.